Barb Nelson. I'm from Lakeland, Minnesota. Well, thank you for coming and thank you for being a part of this. We're really excited to put something together to talk about Memorial Day. And I know a little bit when we were in the bigger group, you had mentioned when you had served in the military. And I wonder if, if you just uh, let everyone know when you served and um, uh, what branch of service you were in. Okay. Actually, I served in 69 and 70. I was an Army medic. We're now. Well, we're in Vietnam. And um, did you go, when you went, you were enlisted, you drafted? Drafted. You're drafted. So your number came at just the, a certain point, huh? Actually, I think I actually got drafted before that number came out. I think if you had a heartbeat, you're going. Is that what happened? <laughs> unless you're like Clinton and ch checking out north. Yeah, so you, so you kind of didn't have a choice. You were mm -hmm. on your way. Mm -hmm. So now from the time you found out you were drafted, how long was it before you had to leave home? Oof. Do you remember? Did it seem like it was pretty quick or? You remember this yeah. time ago. had to get your affairs in order yeah. and away you went. I don't think it was too long though. No. You know, when, when you went, did you know anybody else that went? Was there anybody else from Lakeland who went or? Stillwater or? Well, there's guys that went, but they weren't drafted at the same time. Oh, okay. So you, so when you went, everybody was new to you, mm -hmm. right? It was all yeah. new people. How long did it take to get some buddies? Do you remember? Mm. Yeah, I think it went pretty quick. Yeah, because you're all in the same boat, mm. right? So did yep. you just leave Lakeland and go straight to Vietnam, or did you have to do something first? You had to go through basic down in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and then from there I went to medical training down in Fort Sam Houston, down in Texas. Okay. Did, did you have to spend much time down in North Carolina on basic training? How long was that? Eight weeks. Eight weeks? Mm -hmm. Did you think it was going to about kill you? or <laughs> No. It wasn't too bad? Mm -hmm. You must have been in pretty good shape then. Mm -hmm. And then, did you want to be an, a medic, an army medic, or, or is that what they said you had to do? And they just give you a little slip, and that's where you went. <laughs> so your life was no longer your own, was it? Yeah. Yeah, so you went down to Houston. What was that like? Mm. Was that very long? So eight weeks in North Carolina, and then? And I think it was ten, 10 weeks, I think. 10 weeks down to Houston? Mm -hmm. What time of year? Do you remember? Houston's a pretty hot city. No, San Antonio. Oh, you went to San Antonio. That's a beautiful city. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful city. Yep. Wow. So 10 weeks and um, then at that point, then what'd you do? Did you fly in an airplane or did they get you to a ship or what, what happened? No, well, actually when I got done with medical school, I went home for, uh, I would guess a month. Oh really? I bet you were so happy. Yeah, well, how how'd that feel to go home? <laughs> it's pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice. Everybody's um, probably pretty yeah. happy to see you, I imagine. Yeah. And from there I had to go to San Francisco, I believe. Okay, so I suppose you took a plane then? Mm-hmm. Was that the first time you'd ever been on a plane? No, I flew to basic training in a plane. And that was your first time? Mm-hmm. What, what was that like? That was a whole part of the experience, wasn't it? Well, as long as Dick wasn't flying, I knew I was safe. <laughs> <laughs> so you flew to San Francisco, and did you spend much time there? Nope. So then you left San Francisco, you went to Vietnam. Mm-hmm. And so, you, since you were a medic, did they put you right up by the front? Mm-hmm. They did. Yeah. And uh, you were there for a year. That was a long time to be there. That was a long time. Yep. Because you were seeing action all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're very familiar with the reason why we have Memorial Day. And that's because we have a lot of fallen yep. soldiers. And um, we were grateful that you were able to come home from Vietnam. And what do you think about when Memorial Day comes? Actually, I thought I was till I came home. 
grateful, I mean. Yeah. Back then, I wasn't much fun to come home. Yeah. When you came home, did you get parades and welcomes and receptions <laughs> or? Nope. No, because you were Vietnam. Mm-hmm. Right. What message do you have for servicemen and women? Well, we learned to treat them a little better. Yeah, that's right. That's the most important thing to remember. Well, I want to thank you for your service. This Memorial Day, watch more stories of service from Minnesota's 6th District Veterans. Available on bachman.house.gov, youtube.com slash rep Michelle Bachman, and facebook.com slash rep Michelle Bachman.